Hello, everybody, and welcome, or welcome back to Slice and Dice Say with me. One of the most underrated strategy roguelikes out there. We are going to be checking out, you know, I want to check out loot mode, which is no level ups. We get loot after every single fight. The mode is very difficult, and the developer cannot beat it on easy. So you know what we're going to do? We're going to try to beat it on easy. <laughs> we're going to see what we can do. Uh, we get a blessing right off the bat, but uh, no level ups means, theoretically, we keep our level one units forever. <laughs> like, normally, they, you know, level up, they evolve more or less into units that have better die faces on them, that do, like, a lot more damage, a lot more defense, all that kind of stuff. But no, not here. Not here, indeed. So, we gotta figure out, we get a, a blessing as well. Uh, Eye Face of Horus. Which it- woo. Wait, what the heck? It's just, uh, it's an item that, uh, that gives us plus two to all sides permanently. I mean, that seems- seems like a really good thing to go for. Uh, I- I don't know why I would say no to that. The question is, where do I really want to put it? Because that's so obviously good. It's gonna make us unbelievably strong for the first, like, Honestly, probably until the first boss. Uh, even with nothing else, we could probably like get to and beat the first boss with just this item. That's so good. Uh, but hey, I don't know. Part of me wants it on the lost, but part of me is scared to have it on the lost since they only have three HP. They're also the most likely to die. Uh, all of these faces are very good. We have a po ranged poison attack, which is very strong. Three poison every single turn. Three poison damage every single turn is what that would do. Uh, what do we have over here on you, on the Hoarder? One damage, Death Wish. So if you're dying, you do two, uh, two times damage. Two damage, single use. Eh. Uh, one damage, Engage. So it does two damage versus full HP. One damage, Steal. Does more damage if he has shields on him. Two damage, Heavy. Has to target the highest HP. And then two damage, Exert, which is just, uh, basically a damage move that makes it so you have to charge up next turn. Um... I'm kind of between either this, I guess this, because this is very strong, this could be really strong, this could do 6 damage, this could do 6 damage, um, and he's less likely to die, or the mage, honestly, because being able to cast that many spells that effectively would be really good. It's a 5 damage move on average, where this is a 4 damage move, or a 3 damage poison move. The mage is barely less likely to die, though. I'm going to tell you what. Uh, it, sh Whoa. Uh, it should not matter for turn one. It should not matter at all for turn one. We should be more than fine. But I'm really curious about this mode, especially, like, <laughs> seeing you will, like, I have not beaten this mode on easy. It's a very um, terrifying and tantalizing thing to hear for my god for a fool like i i gotta be honest though this uh this starting item we get is is cracked oh that was our uh 200 fight 200th fight in this game choose an item replace all blank sides with heal one that seems really nice like there's nothing wrong with that hit me with that yeah that covers up the most blank set well Eh, truthfully, it's like not that great of a face, but it's gonna beat the heck out of rolling a blank side. Um, okay. Do I have a? I don't. I, I don't have anything that can kill the back line. So you're attacking. You're both attacking here. We can kill. Ouch! And that would save the life of the healer. We could probably just like honestly run this for. We could probably just run this for science. This is basically, um, optimal, anyways. So we could save our mana. We probably should. Usually, not a strong reason to go for using your mana if you're not going to save somebody's life or kill somebody. Usually, does not matter much. Uh, we have lethal. Why am I healing everybody? Don't worry about it. I just want him to feel nice. Wolf ears. Okay, wolf. if we're never going to level up, wolf ears is kind of good. 
uh, it makes it so you set your maximum HP to six, which makes it so the loss does not die in like one hit. <laughs> that's that's appealing. That's exciting. Uh, three damage, death wish. So yeah, bonus damage on enemies that are half HP or less. This three damage cruel move is really not going to be that efficient or exciting until much later in the game. A uh, hoarder is not dying. So I can't get the bonus damage from Death Wish there. This is a best in slot, obviously. <sighs> Three damage. Like obviously the dream is to get the uh the poison. You know what? It's just it's pretty likely we'll at the very least roll the exact same thing. Eh, sure, whatever. Uh, that's a kill on the wolf. Which I think is probably the best we're gonna do here. Do I even want to exert? Bing bang? Bing bang? We could flare, we could burst. All right, well, yeah, we're we're kind of wrecking, and we we're going to. Like I said, the fact that we get to start with a blessing is pretty busted. It's gonna make it look like this mode is actually easy for a bit. And then I can only imagine how tough it's going to get when we never can level up anybody ever again. At the start of each turn, self-heal for two if you're on exactly two HP. That is so niche. It's not even funny, man. We have to go with short sword. In my humble opinion. I'm less likely to want to stop on that. I'm more likely to want to stop on that. So I think we swap those up. When we get to late game, though, and we start to get, um, like, late game items every single turn, like, things like that, uh, every single turn, it's going to be pretty gnarly. Okay, so, Flare does five, you have how much? Wait, is this, um, is this lethal? Ha! Ah! Because that does six damage. Oh my god! All right, killing, like, the mini-boss turn one, I'll take it. Because <laughs> we actually got, you know, useful effectiveness there. We have lethal again. This is a speedrun, dude. All right, now this is a little bit different. Blessed ring, replace the rightmost side with shield one rescue. Or upon death, get two mana. I'm kind of leaning towards blessed ring, because it kind of... It plugs up our final... Nope. I was going to say, plugs up our final X. But I'm just going to... I'm going to rock that. I think that's okay. Barrel. On death, explode for five damage to adjacent units. I mean, that that's good. Three damage, one damage. Oh, God, if I can get lethal on this, that's really big. I think I have to fish for it a little bit. Okay, I have lethal on the barrel. So, okay, for science. Oops. Just for science. What does this look like for us? Okay, so that saves us. So since that saves us, let's go, let's go aggro. Oh, baby. Okay. All right, so we can go for a little bit of a... You're more in danger. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Never mind. Never mind. That's a turn one kill on all five goblins. Okay. Again. Mode's very easy so far. Replace the middle left side with shield seven heavy. Target must have the highest HP. See, that's really good with this. That could make this do 8 damage. We'd get rid of this, which I'm actually okay with. Or we could put it on somebody else. We could put it on the healer. In fact, I think I'd put it on the healer. Because 1 mana? I don't really care about a 1 mana face. Add pain to the two left sides, meaning they would deal damage to us when we use them, but then they also get... Uh, a lot of max HP. This would be really good on, uh, you know, who... This would be good on the Berserker, who already has pain on those sides anyways. The items are starting to get kind of nuts, though. 
So maybe, maybe, I don't know. Maybe this mode isn't that, th maybe that was a troll. Maybe that was a troll this whole time. Uh, this saves the lost. I find it hard to believe we don't get something else that saves the lost. I think we just lock that. Okay. We could kill the crone. Two damage to the topmost enemies. Okay, so we have lethal on them already. And now we really have lethal. Kind of awkward stuff. Huh. I mean, it doesn't really matter there, right? Nice and easy, nice and golden. All right, level one heroes. When are you going to... This is going to be my first time using that one. When are you going to suck? Because right now, everything is just fine. Everything is more than fine. We're ending every fight, like, near full HP. Overkilling by, like, six. What the heck? Shift your middle row across by one. Uh, trying to think of who that could possibly help here. It would have to be like, oh, you know, it would be really, oh, you know, it would be really good. There's that move that's like copy this side and put it on all the faces. We could like shift it over and then copy, but it wouldn't have the eye of Horus or whatever. Plus one max HP this fight whenever you save a hero. I'm not wowed by either of those. Lull. What did I say? Um, but yeah, again, obviously, like, we could have done that and been able to copy this onto all of them. If in the dream scenario that we got everything. Like, we could do something like this. Turn that guy into a DPS lord. We could have... You know, this would have been the ideal. We could have copied steel onto all three. That that would have been the play. I really just... Um, at the moment, I think that there's nothing I really want to do with this. But this is a good game break piece. I... Like... If we're trying to go for items carrying us late game... This, as far as a level 2 piece goes, is pretty godly. I don't want that at all. Don't really want... It. This is the only one I could see myself doing, because I am a feisty lad. And I do like to attack. But having no defensive capabilities seems... I don't know, uh, stupid as hell. Fish a little bit. Oh god, this is looking gross. I don't think I say I don't think I say yes to that. It's not part. Oh, we could have. We could have, you know, if we would have got lucky, got this, we could have done eight damage. We could have killed that Cyclops there. Because the hoarder does have the highest HP there. Unfortunately, I can't defend the mage with this. It's very gimmicky, very awkward. Cyclops gets stunned for next turn. Is that going to be a problem? The stun happens at the end of the turn, and then he'll get to play again. Is it better to not do this damage so we can stun him next turn and only deal with the bandit? It might be. I actually think it might be. This, like, whatever. I want the hoarder to have the most HP. I'm aware. I'm aware. It's quirky. It's weird. But I think that we want to activate this stun right now instead i think that'll be way more beneficial 
Oh, we got, okay, we got it. We have we have uh, full board lethal. Lol. <laughs> this is this is great. Uh, flawed diamond. Add pristine to the two left sides. Times two if you have full HP. Oh my god. Uh, obviously, we could like get that to be six damage poison, which is really goofy. That's this is so game breaky though. You kidding me? I I don't really care about this one getting pristine. That's sort of bad. But other than that, like. The fact that we could do... We theoretically have a cap of... Um, okay, so we could do 7, 8, 9, <laughs> 10. We could... We, uh, with our level 1 character... Oh, this also gives empty max HP. With our level 1 character... I see, I see what's weird about this. Gotcha. That's kind of weird. All right. So we'll have to heal them. Eh, it's not going to be as good as it seems. But we technically have a max cap of 20 damage. Technically. Ain't great. Gives us something to do with our heals on turn one, though. That's, a, that's uh, at the very least, good. Oh, yeah. See, I'm... You can probably start to see right now why things are going to get a little bit awkward. And, uh... It's because of one big reason, and that is the fact that our HP is so unbelievably low. This isn't even that good for us right now, right? I mean, it is if I can get a, um, if I can hit that one die face, that'd be really useful. I, but I don't know if I'm, I did, I did it, I hit it. Okay, that we keep, this we keep too. We might keep everything. So who does AoE? Who's doing AoE to everybody? You. Three damage to the topmost enemy. Very doable. That saves everybody's life. Just like that. Three damage to the bottommost enemy. You're already doing three damage to the bottommost enemy. Okay. We just have to uh, focus heavily on this kind of burst element here. Lol. Lol. Uh ay, ay, ay. Oh, nice. There we go. That's huge. It's lethal. And a save. Lethal and a save. Lethal and a save. This run is going so freaking fast. Life bolt. After a spell is cast, self heal for one. Add pain and plus two to the leftmost side. Oh boy. That's fun, but I just can't really picture it right now. It's ideal and important that that character gets to full HP. Did the mage die? The mage died on my I oh I activated the uh the ability. Whoop. Okay, so the both of the graves need to go pretty badly. Huge. Um Spending three damage to get them, though, seems really unfortunate. Like, that bothers me. Maybe we kill the imp? Yep. 
If we get the imps out of the way and then we target the, the bones to get that AoE damage that they do whenever you kill a bone, they do like an AoE explosion that's really handy. So who's attacking here? So the mage is going to die from that. I would obviously love to fix that. I think the buckle can go for this. I think it's just fine. Good. I That's probably fine. Order is not dying, so that's not 2x damage. We have a heal of 3 for who, though? I don't know. We need a, I would really like another source of 2 damage. Good. That, that, like, as risky as that was, that is another source of 2 damage. Uh, we could hit you with a flare, hit you with a kill, hit you with a poison which effectively will hit both of these. Like, this is so annoying, obviously, that it's going to just be, like, going and going and going. But now that we can kill these bones potentially more nice, uh, more aptly, this is such overkill. Oh, my God. I'm doing it regardless, though, because it is it's a guaranteed kill. Like, I can't be mad at that. All right. All right. That could have been bad. Add engage to the middle left side. Times two versus targets that have full HP. Up dog. Add over. What the hell is this? Add over dog to the top side, which is times two if you have more HP than the target. Well, I mean, with the loss, that's at. Oh, but then. Oh, God. You know what I wish this mode had that would not buff up the early game? three item slots I know that it's, it would probably be like a whole mess of a thing but that would probably make this if this mode is like internally system wise if it is too hard a third item slot would probably make it maybe too easy but I think that that's kind of I think for this con the concept of this mode I think that that would be okay um, or maybe there's like a mode you can unlock if you beat loot mode you know, that would, be, that would be something. If you beat loot mode, you unlock, like, hoarder mode, which lets you equip three or maybe, you know, in a d disgusting scenario, four, uh, four dice faces or items on each character. I think that'd be a lot of fun. Engage to the middle left side, though. Times two on full HP. That does not necessarily... Um... God, that is so unlikely, right? It's so unlike it's so unlikely. Do you know what I'm saying? I uh, probably not. But what if you, you know, piece it together, piece it together, piece it together. Obviously, we'd have to sacrifice this concept to do it. We'd have to do it like that. In the event It's so stupid. In the event that the hoarder makes it to full HP, to 10 HP. We can shield them for 14, which would make this move do 15 damage. Is it necessary? No, not really. But uh, it is it is hilarious. All right, the healer is big dying. So we have two, four, we got five. Uh, we As long as you roll a damaging... That's too damaging of a side. Uh-oh. Two, four. We can get that up to five. The mage needs to roll a double. Actually, I don't have... <laughs> I don't have a side that's not... Oh, that is not damaging enough. Because this gets you to three. Oh, that sucks. Uh-oh. I actually don't really have a... I don't actually have a good answer here for saving my own life. I might have to tap out. Also, whenever we cast a spell, everybody takes a damage. Um, interesting, interesting, interesting. Uh, 
Oh, wait a minute. No, that won't work. That won't do anything, right? That makes it so we can do two damage. That doesn't help us because this only does three. Obviously, we can kill the ghost next turn. Like, I'm not I'm not sitting here wondering, like, how am I going to win this fight? But I am kind of sitting here wondering... How can I save the healer? How can I save the healer this turn? Is it possible? That barely even does what we need. Like, there's the Banshee dead next turn, but that also means the Buckle would theoretically die. I... And I also don't really like the Ghost being on that level. So here's what we'll do. I, th I think here's what we do. Do we even, wait, do we even need to do that? Ah, because you are immune to the poison that turn if you do it. But if we do it... If we do it like this, you're also immune to the poison. Interesting. Oh, that HP breakpoint is really unfortunate. If the mage would have rolled two mana, um, we would have we would have been able to obviously save the healer. But we gotta we gotta process without it. We obviously always take the mana, whether or not we use it. I guess I I guess I don't know. Hmm. It feels overkill. I think we might have to sack the healer. Uh, we need to damage this turn. Yeah, otherwise the poison. The poison would kill next turn. They... <sighs> That's just... The ghost has always been a pretty tricky beast. Why couldn't you attack the lost? I do too much damage. I, I'm... This is a weird scenario. This is really not what I was hoping to roll there. Uh, we're gonna lose another. That sucks. That really sucks. We obviously win, like, again. At no point did I think we were gonna lose this fight, but I really hate how that happened. Replace the middle left side with add mana gain and pain to target's sides this turn. Heal three to all allies. Learning a new spell. Heal three to all allies with shields and gain cleanse. I do like that. We could... Because this, you know what? Heal three to all allies with shields and cleanse mixed with uh, the fact that we cast are casting a spell... Oh. No, yeah, that works. Because this doesn't have to go on them. This can go anywhere. Oh, that was awkward, though. God, just truthfully, what makes... The only thing that makes this really difficult is the health. The other thing could be, like, after every boss fight, every character gains 2 HP. It's kind of awkward. And it's, like, it's sort of inelegant when considering, like, this... Oh, um... So if you have full HP, I, I don't anymore. This could have been amazing. Can't kill the whiz. This is really tempting. We go for the go for a miracle roll. No miracle roll. No miracle roll. It is. So we heal three there. I think we save the mage. I don't even know if we use this.
I don't think so. Because this is Exert. I hate this die face. Exert, I, I just... Th two damage and Exert is really bad. Four damage and Exert? Maybe. Maybe. Two damage and Exert? No. Three damage and Exert? There are some scenarios where I'll do it. Uh, this is going to suck, by the way. Three skeletons are being spawned. I don't know if you've uh, uh, seen that, but apparently that's just um, happening. I'm aware. I don't want to. I can't. I can't have my hoarder not able to do. I. I think I just. I actually just think I lose this turn now. Uh, I can kill the whiz. That helps. Or not. I can stun and then kill the whiz next turn, which really does help. Yeah, this is disgusting. This is just that's just too many bones. I can protect the lost. Dude. That's a no-brainer required thing. Absolutely have to. Pretty much have to do that. Who, who damage where? Uh, Mend is not going to save anybody. I could do it to the mage before I leave. If I think it would help. And, it, and I think it probably would. You know. That's worth. That's worth losing a turn. That is worth losing a turn. Obviously, it's a very powerful unit. Three damage. Uh, they have a chance for a kill. They have a chance for a one-shot kill. Which is really big. How could I save them? How how on earth could I save the mage from the fanatic here? I can't like I can't use this on the mage because they're not at the highest HP, and I can't really do anything else there. I don't know if three damage is good enough, but I would rather I'd rather hit the others, this or that, I suppose. Wouldn't I? What are the odds that I roll something worse? I was I would say maybe one in six, because I wouldn't even consider this necessarily worse right now. The question is if I should um accept the two damage. And I think the answer is yes. I'm I'm not chancing it one more time. Mage, please roll two mana. Oh, you little garbage monster. Um Oh, that doesn't even save. Are you freaking kidding me, man? That is pain. Um, I'm not saving. I'm not saving them then. <laughs> just, to, just so that I could do that. That's. I mean, this is a fun play in order to do this in the event that we needed to proc that move, but we can't. So we can we can kill one. That's that's where we're at. We can kill a single, a single one right now. Um, and it pretty much just has to be this one, right? This is the only one that saves a life, which is annoying. It does not save. There's no reason to do that right now. God, the fanatic. The fanatic is gnarly, and the fact that the uh, the Wiz got a triple summon on turn one is really, really, really gnarly. <sighs> triple heal. Obviously, we cannot save. We can't save the lost with a heal. We can save it with our shield. That's obviously a kill. On one, which saves the lost. Uh, okay, so hold on. This is science. Okay, 
Um, uh, there's literally one face that saves. No, there's two. There's two faces that save the loss there, if that's the way we play it. It's maybe okay. Like getting the fit. Okay, so here's the thing. The Fanatic's not going to do anything next turn. How much overkill is this? That's so... Oh, that's a lot of overkill. Okay. Um, it... Nothing really matters then. There's no there's no better side than this, really, right now. I think we just have to chance it. Oh so lucky. Oh so lucky. That's overkill. Hold on. Wait, is this overkill? Cool. We obviously have mend. Oh my god. They were at full HP, so they got a double too. It didn't matter. But like, dang man. <laughs> Replace the rightmost side with two damage ranged engage. With extra monsters, another bones, and a zombie. I mean I maybe could. I'm not gonna re I'm not gonna replace those items right now. I can't have the lost at three HP. It's just so like you seeing how easy it is for the mage to die. Imagine. Like it'd be kind of nice on the buckle. It'd be f fine on the healer. It it'd be best on the on the mage. I just don't really care though. Replaces all blank sides with shield one cantrip. Adds cleanse to the top and bottom sides. That's big. Heal three, cleanse. Blank sides with cantrip. Cantrip shield. We, there's no guarantee. It, it, we would do this. I feel like I have to rock cleanse, though. The question is if I... I think I actually just drop it on the buckle. Is we're more likely to use these shields than we are to use the three? Yes, I know we only purify two instead of three that way, but I think that's fine. I think that's okay. Also, we don't have to readjust any item slots that way. We are fully itemized, which is scary. Like, all sense of strength. That's the Baron. All sense of strength scaling that we normally would have is a little bit out the window now. Because we have no more free item slots. Now everything has to be replaced. That is that is frightening. Okay. We can kill a ghost. Just for science, that's a... Why is it only four? Oh, it's four. It's... That four is the... Yeah. So we could do four on either. All right. The heal. I don't know either way. I kind of... I think the idea of killing the ghost is pretty good, though. Being able to burst through... It, it clearly is something we have... Um, oh, God. Weird difficulty with... Okay, so that's everybody saved, which is way better than I honestly thought I'd probably be able to do. 
I do wish I could pop this, but I think that's the best I can do. I hate that the buckle is double poisoned. I... Uh I think I need, I need a four or the poison spell. Oh, got it. That helps a lot. Oh, huge. Okay. There's no reason to do it yet. I mean, that's really good. Not for now, but it's really good. If we had a move that spread our shields around a little bit... Ooh, more. That'd be huge. Uh, we probably lock that mana side. I think that's just okay. Big. Just not chancing it. Because we can go for like a... We can go for a Giga Smack here. If you have Flare... This fight is so easy. Like, if you have... If you still have any direct spell damage, that fight is a joke. Plus two to all incoming shields. Plus one to the middle left side. Very specific. Silver Pendant is interesting. I mean, if we're going for Giga, Giga Shield damage, if we're going for Giga Steel, we ditch Life Bolt. It's not, it's not really working that much. And this means a two shield goes up to four. Do we have any reason for this now? Not really. There's a world where we would, would do that. <laughs> Dumb. I could do something like that, and then we could go for... Like, not that I want to do this, but see, this is the kind of, um... This is the kind of... God dang it. Play you could make if there was... If this was actually, like, X's turn into something good. That'd be pretty nice. I think we'll take... Do we want the one heal or the two shield? How often is that one heal doing anything? I'd rather... I guess I'd rather have a shield, right? Uh, I wish I could have this spell on somebody else and have it not be stupid. Stupid, stupid, dumb. But unfortunately, I cannot. It would all be stupid, stupid, dumb. Yeah. Noel is doing a lot of damage. Should be find uh, it's a kill on the knoll isn't it oh it can't be unless the no, the knoll can take extra damage from that and we can do this and we can do a little bit of that it's quirky the war chiefs are not that bad on their own like five damage is awkward like it's it's a lot of damage for a unit to do but it's fine exert side two damage <sighs> two damage to max though I just think maybe having a little bit more potential for defensive capabilities is not bad probably should have rolled this too huge oh my god that's gonna come in handy that's gonna actually be really good 
Um. We have to go right on there, there, there. Again, it's a little overkill, I think. No, it's not, because that's not double damage yet. All good. Lol? Lol? Like, see, look at this. 14 damage? 17 damage. Like, do I need to do this? No. Does it help me to do that much? No, but it's fun that I can. Okay. It is very fun that I can. Flute, what the hell is the flute? Replace the rightmost side with shield one to all allies cantrip. Now there we go. Uh, single cast. Shield two boost single cast. I don't like that as much. I I really, really like the idea of this. Um, spread to all those sides. The question is who's, whose thing do we remove? That. I don't care about that. Oops. Because we want this we want this spell, I'd say. I th I think. I think. This is pretty fun though. Shield one to all allies cantrip. Every time we roll it, we get a shield on all our allies. On top of the fact that if the hoarder takes uh one of those, it is a plus three shield. So that's really good. Alright, somebody's dead. I think I need to save myself here. <laughs> um. I guess I would... In a weird way, I would think I'd rather... We could probably also only do some of these. We could do... Probably do this. Yeah, that's that's enough. We burst. Shield on who? I don't know. Somebody who is not going to make it harder for the hoarder to get their save. Good. Show me the cantrips. You take those. Let's have a little fun. Come on, give me the, give me the, show me the flute. I just wanted to see it in action. It totally does work. Okay. And then you can... Oh my god, that's right. You can actually... Uh, you can cast it then, too. Oh, you got... Um, you got hard screwed over. Bonk. Oh my god. And now heat works so well because we can shield everybody really easily. This is actually... Oh... This is actually really good. Like, I have lethal here, but, like... Like, for example, we can then do that. And then heal everybody, because heat will hit everyone. Which is three heal and cleanse. Oh my god! Anvil? No. Absolutely not. Those are fundamental. Bloodlust to the middle side. Replace mana gain sides with basic damage. Mana or mana gain sides with basic damage. Sides retaining their tri their keywords and tripling their values. Um, I feel like my mana sides are really important on the mage. And I kind of like them on the healer too. So, bloodlust to the middle left side. I don't really see that being that big of a deal. Like, it'd be kind of nice on the mana side, but hit me with a random plus one to all damage sides.
I don't know. Is that worth having 3 HP? I don't know if that's worth having 3 HP on that character. They're just going to die all the time. All the time. Like, I like it. It's not that it's bad. It's just I have so many items that are all valuable. I could, I could ditch Flawed Diamond. Like, I could see this being okay. I could even see this being valid. It'd mostly be so that, like, we're not just kind of flubbing it if we don't roll this. Like, this is cool, but how often have I done it? How often has it happened? I don't, I don't think it's really happened. Yeah, I think that's probably going to be what we do. I think that'll be it. Oh, I love it. I'd love to roll a mana side on my healer. Oh. don't think I can rock exert. Can I? Maybe I can. Oh, God. Order saved from all poison. Buckle won't be at full HP. I need mana. I don't know why I did that that way. Shield and cleanse. We're 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 bodied. You just need to take anything. Heal side, okay. A lot of poison coming in. <laughs> Not saving anybody. I, I think we, we save and we go for heat. Heat heat is a miracle here. Like heat is a miracle food here. We just need to roll any mana. Dude, I'm taking it. So for science. Oh! It's amazing. That works exactly how I would hope. Exactly how I would hope. Come on. That was screw you. Okay. Uh... I really don't want that side petrified, so I think we do kill this snake. And I don't care if this side gets petrified. Oh, that's huge. Huge, dude. I don't even think... Wait. We didn't even get petrified, technically. So, this is good. Very nice. <laughs> I'd rather get the poison that I don't care about, right? We're not going to kick. fine but then we don't use burst just in case like or we get a weird situation where we can't get the kill here um okay well that should be should be good enough oh plus one damage to all enemies whenever you save a hero 
Triple the pips on the rightmost side. Oh my god. See what I'm see what I'm saying? Imagine if we had a oh I like I'm not here's the thing. For a cantrip side like this, for our build to work, it's more important that we have three single pips of this than one three pip. It is. But imagine if we had a third item slot, we could make this be a triple triple flute in every slot. Oh my god, that'd be so good. Uh, Tarantus sucks. I hate Tarantus. The good news is we have Tarantus and a smokescreen on our top character, which is useful because they have Devour whenever you cross this threshold. It kills the top unit. But not if we have Inviso Bill Mode on. Is there anything else that triple pips will be better for? God, I God, I wish. I think we take this on Prospect because it's... I mean, yeah, like, I take it on Prospect. God, don't, don't get me wrong. That is so tempting looking, but this is more important. Because this allows us to get a party-wide cleanse in, like, for, th for three mana without having to, like, actually try. Huge. I don't really want my hoarder poisoned. This is silly. Ah, that's what's going on. I was like, "What? this turn's weird. Why is it not so bad? It's because this turn's gonna suck. That's why. Oh, yeah, it could be a lot worse. I would love mana. That's good enough. That kills a spider. Okay, well, I mean, there's our there's our mana, but it's not quite what I had in mind. Oh, screw you. I see. Like, I can't do that. I mean, we can hopefully do it next turn. A lot of unnecessary shielding. I was hoping to roll a mana on our final roll there, because then we could um, obviously do heat, which would be... every Literally, everybody would be at full HP. We're obviously hoping for that next turn, but, like, what are you going to do? This way we have heat next turn. Almost certainly. If the mage or the heat, like neither the mage or the healer rolls a mana, I'm going to be upset. Okay, well the mage rolled it, which is good, but I need I need to roll the flute first. Thank you. And then that, I'm, I'm accepting that. I'm not, we ain't chancing any of that. Okay. All right. So, bing bang, boom, where are we at? All right. Is there a world where we save the lost? Actually, no, I don't think. All right. Is there a world where we proc, oops, proc damage on the lost and get it killed by Tarantus anyways? Yes, and I think that that's the play. If it's dying anyways, we might as well do about 1 billion damage. Uh, okay. I mean, mana, please. I mean, okay, sure. This is a bit overkill. Um, let's 
It's gonna be a bit overkill no matter where we really put this. Uh... Oh, but that's actually that's fine. Good. Then we can mend. We can mend, but we there's no point to do it right now. Good. Terrifying, but good. All right. So we have the one. Hit me with a bow. Okay, good. We got the bow. Give me the mana. Good. We got the bar and the mana. Uh, yeah, it's fine. I don't really want to exert. Awkward. Can't target with both on those. Man. Okay, some, some weird weird stuff's going on with this, but like, hey, sure. Bah, and then land on mana. Nah. Bit too dreamy. Just, like, I can only, to be clear, this can only target the enemy that has the most HP. I'm not just like, you know. Okay, so there's a kill, a kill, a kill. Okay, we got it. We have we have lethal. Thank you. Kill, a kill, uh, kill. Poof. I okay. I based off of this mode is so hard I can't beat it on easy. I didn't think we would be getting here. Okay, replace blank sides with three man is interesting. Re replace all sides with the hero above base sides. Wait. Oh my god, we could we could use that as a way to get a third item on this setup. But why? Cause it's funny. It is it's pretty funny. That's the closest thing I could think of to to getting that. Oh, it's their base sides, idiot. Oh, shoot. It's their base sides. It's their base sides. It's their base sides, you ding dong. Um. Oh, that's really annoying. Wait, oh, shoot. I didn't think that went through. Three uh, X's into three mana is not something I was going to utilize anyways. Like, as good as it is, like, I could maybe justify replacing Tower Shield for an extra three mana because it's, like, it's that good. Ah, oh, shoot. I just got, I got too excited. Is there any way... Eh, no, at this point... This is not going to be a good item on a run where we have, like, a thousand items. It's just not that good. Because we have a situation where we just need uh, more slots. <laughs> you know? All right, this is going to be awkward. It does four damage because we are technically dying. I need, a, I need a chance rolling mana. Okay, good. It's going to be a little bit awkward, though. Oh, no. Oh, screw you both. Screw you all. Oh, if only, if only I could do this this turn and not be losing the. Oh, it's to the. It's not to the top. It's to the the person who did it. Okay, well that changes things a bit. Actually, not that much. We could just do this. You do that. Oh, does that count as? 
everybody. No, it's the Banshee. See, but I don't want to do this. I can't lose my Hoarder on this turn. This is just too much damage between the two of them on this turn. That's just gonna have to that's just gonna have to do her. Of course this one's summoning again. Should have known. I might be dead. In add pain to all sides. That's not good. Okay, so you have one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. We could do that and then the but then the lost would die. On hit six damage. Not if we hit our ranged ability. I'm gonna I'm gonna die now. I'm gonna die now. These none literally none of these are what we're looking for. Oh boy. Oh boy. And of course we rolled this too. Pretty stanky. Okay, so this kills. If we did this, would it kill? It does not. I don't think we can afford to do that when we need to save you. This is again useless. Killing the imp, I think, is important. Important. Ah. Uh... And then we roll. And of course, yeah. And then we rolled the X. Man. Oh. Uh... What a bad roll that was. What a bad roll that was. Okay, it does not save us. That is required for us to be saved by that. That doesn't save us anyways, right? We'd have to do a double to save, but then the hoarder would have to die, which is maybe a maybe a lost cause anyways. He's our Papa Big Boy damage dealer. But he's also at 1 HP and poisoned and has pain inflicted. And the mage is pretty crucial for like a giga turn. It. Maybe what we need. It doesn't even save them. We'd have to do a double to save them. I can mend. Does that fix something? Not really. Ah! we. I mean, we... This is basically two X's. This is basically two X's, and the mage never rolled the flute, which is a one in... It's a 50-50 it's a chance three times uh, that we failed all three times so which would have absolutely saved us via heat i'm trying to think maybe is there a world where we there's no world where we can get two characters that have shields on them right now and then inflict heat uh inflict heat and then cast heat we obviously do this this doesn't matter we might as well do that this i do really like and maybe is good enough to send out that character the fact remains that we don't have a way to save the buckle if we're saving the mage. We have to pick between the two because, again, the healer rolled nothing and the lost rolled nothing. So. 
I think, I mean, I can save the hoarder and the buckle, so I guess that's really what I do, but it's just not great. Don't know what else to say aside from, boy, boy, that ain't great. Like, I can mend the mage, it's not going to do anything. I can mend the hoarder, but it's not actually going to do anything either. And now it's going to be impossible for us to shield up everybody at the same turn. We're going to need a giga kill combo, but, um, yeah, no, the demons, demon that summons imps all the time that do four damage and poison and also summon skeletons strike again as, um, a big, big problem. I don't have it here. I can't roll the three heal and that. The shield is something. I guess I need like a... I, I lose. There's no, there's no way around this. There's... Yeah, there's no way around this. I can save you for a turn. Cool. Hip. Neat. I love it. Uh, this has to be done on the demon. There's not. There's no way around that. We can't save you unless maybe we mend first. But if we mend first, we can't. Oh, there's no reason to mend. We don't have to mend first. Oh, mending first doesn't even save you. Cool. Yeah. You know what I'm noticing? I'm noticing how much one shield would make a difference here. We can't save. It, it doesn't matter. We're stalling in order to die at a slightly different turn. There's no way. And you have pain inflicted on you now? There's no way. We literally, like... We got, we got about the worst possible roll we could have, and they got one of the best, which was enough to, to kill without recourse a unit and summon an imp that is, you know, going to be bothering us as well. They, we got, we got both that we had to deal with, so it was just gonna be bad no matter what here. What am I looking for? I don't really know, dude. There's nothing. Hey. At least we get to go out swinging. Eat garbage. Eat garbage? I mean, I live. Let's fix that. <laughs> Ugh. Dude. I actually could have had that. It was a 50 50. It's a 50 50 chance to roll the flute. And we roll three times. To, to miss that hurts really bad. Like, obviously, it's not like. That's not a guarantee. But it is. It is enough to sort of bank on more often. Um, but the thing is, we normally, in other circumstances, we would have been able to survive that situation had we failed that. But. The rogue rolled anything. Again, I consider smoke sc smoke screen when nobody is targeting you is effectively an X. Like it's he wasn't even the wasn't even mitigating one or two points of damage. He was mitigating nothing. It was an X. And then the healer rolled an X on the final turn as well as we were trying to get that little thing we needed. We needed any source of mana. Any source of mana on that turn would have been really really useful. Literally any flute would have been really really useful. Uh, we got screwed by RNG. Really, really bad there. Uh, and would we have won? I don't know. If we got to uh, Hexia, I don't think we really would have had a very good chance against that boss. Could we have beaten the dragon? I actually think we could have because it's mostly a form of um, AoE poison and then the AoE fire, which if you, you know were paying attention, AoE defense is really something we were quite good at. Uh, single target defense was very hit or miss for us, which was obviously the issue. Uh, most importantly, single target damage on units of ours that didn't have a lot of HP uh, was the biggest potential problem of ours. So, hey! 
I, I can't be, uh, I can't be too mad. No level ups, loot after each fight. This mode is difficult. I can't beat it on easy. I almost beat it on easy. I, I you know, I'd say, I'd say failing due to luck on, um, on fight 17 is, is a pretty good showing. A pretty good showing. That flute combo was silly. And I had, a, I had a lot of fun with it regardless. The, you know, win, lose, draw, whatever the heck. Uh, good good time. Very good time. This has been Slice and Dice. Again, as I continue to say, this is very important. Hear me when I say it. If you would be sad to see this series go, what you're going to have to do is let me know in the form of a comment down below. Thank you everybody for watching. Check out the channel for Rogue Legs and more every single day. And I will see you next time. Bye.